What's up everybody? Today I filmed this fall inspired makeup tutorial using mostly reds and burgundies and purples. I don't know, I love doing fall makeup because I love warm tones and so that's what I did today. Quick life update, I am about 80 days from my wedding. I have my dress fitting coming up. I have... I don't know what else. What, I have everything coming up. When I go try my dress on, I wanted to make sure my hair was the right, the same color it was going to be on my wedding day, just to get a nice visual. So I went and got my hair done today by an amazing colorist by the name of Justin. I will link all of his information below for you if you're in the Boston area and in need of a salon or just a stylist. Look him up. Because I'm telling you, he's incredible. I got the foil, full foil today and then I'm going to do one more foil like the week of the wedding just so that it's like really fresh and then I'm gonna be done and then I'm gonna get married. I also have my bachelorette party coming up so I'm thinking about filming a like bachelorette party makeup tutorial or maybe just even like it'll, it'll be like a night out like very dramatic makeup look. I don't know let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I know it's wedding season so maybe people are going on bachelorette parties Maybe you've already done that, I'm not sure. But I think it might be fun for me to practice some makeup looks that I'm gonna do when I am there. I think those are all my relevant life updates. One announcement that I want to share is that I'm going to be doing a giveaway on my Instagram um, with Lux Botanics. I am an affiliate with them and I'm going to be doing a giveaway of the, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, but I think it's Kajilia. Kajilia. These are the products that I'm going to be giving away. It is a clarifying serum and a clarifying moisturizer. So these two products are really, really amazing. Honestly, all of the Lux Botanics products that I've tried are amazing. This one, especially for clearing your skin. The clarifying moisturizer goes for $70 and the serum goes for $80. So the giveaway is going to be worth $100 fifty dollars <laughs> today 150 yes it's a hundred and fifty dollar value Kajilia is an, a powerful acne clearing and redness soothing extract from the Kajilia African tree did your mind just get blown yeah it came from a tree it's good for blemish prone skin and people that experience redness or irritation um, so it should help smooth your skin when hormones, stress, weather changes, lifestyle, or diet trigger blemishes and irritation, um, which I feel like happens to most people all the time. Especially right now, while the weather's changing, it's getting colder and I can tell my skin is already reacting. Like I'm already finding some eczema spots and like the joyous time of year is coming. At least I have my wedding to look forward to. Look out for this giveaway and how to enter on my Instagram channel, my Instagram channel, on my Instagram. I will be posting all of the details of how to enter to win there. I also have a discount code with Lux Botanics that I will include in the description box below. Um, if you are interested in looking at any of their other products or purchasing them, I can save you, I think, 25% off. So um, check that out. Let me know what you guys think of this video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump right in. All right, so let's pull this beautifully dyed hair back. I can't even tell you guys how much I was dying to be a blonde again. I was dying. Okay, so I'm gonna start with eyes because this is gonna be more of a dramatic eye look with like some darker shades. So I want to do eyes first so that when I put my concealer and foundation on, I have like a completely clear face, no fallout or anything. So primarily I'm going to be working in the Jaclyn Hill palette today, um, only because the warm shades in this palette are amazing and I think we're going to do like a really glam fall eye. I'm very excited. Obviously, if you don't have this palette, that's totally fine. You can use any shades that you have that are similar, um, and the technique will obviously be the same. So I'm going to zoom you in for eyes. We're going to get crazy. We're going crazy. Ah! All right, I'm going to start with my Morphe M441. The first shade is going to be the third shade from the top. 
By the way, I have clean skin right now and I put a serum on, so that is doubling as my primer. So I am just going to add this shade kind of all over the lid in the crease. Basically, I'm only avoiding the brow bone, but I'm going everywhere else. Then I am going in with the shade right next to that one, and I'm going to basically do the exact same thing. Cover all of that up just with a little bit of a deeper shade. Like I said, we're really just kind of like laying the groundwork here. This is just so that when we go in with the darker shades, it doesn't look crazy. We gotta gradually get there, we gotta build up. Then I'm going to move over to this more reddish shade right here. And I'm actually going to be using my R37. It's a little bit more precise. And I'm just going to put that kind of on the tip of my brush so I have it coated. I'm going to tap off the excess, and then I'm going to keep this a little bit more concentrated right on the outer corner in this V shape right here. So a little bit on my lash line and then in my crease. And I'm just kind of flicking it outward. Then I'm going to go in with the shade right next to it that's more of like a cranberry with my Morphe E17. And I'm gonna keep this just in the crease. So now I'm gonna go back in with my R37. There is no product on my brush and I'm just gonna buff that out. You can already tell I'm going to be obsessed with this. Just keeping it right here, bringing it in a little bit as well. You guys like my little... So if you're ever feeling like your eyeshadow is just like not blended enough, just grab a fluffy brush and buff it out. If you keep buffing in like circular motions, it's going to blend. You just have to be patient. Now I'm going to go in with this shimmer shade right on my lid. And I'm just going to use my finger for this going to keep the shade concentrated in the center of my lid. Just gonna go over that crease really lightly with my E17 to blend everything together. Then I'm gonna go in with this red shimmer and I'm gonna keep that concentrated on the outer corner. I am using a Sigma E25 blending brush to apply this. I'm gonna be really careful, I'm just going to dab lately okay so part one of the eyes is done it's time now to go in with foundation thank god we really really need it so i'm gonna use my makeup forever hd foundation stick Ooh, be careful you don't need that much and then i'm going to grab my brand new morphe m439 this is my go-to foundation brush. I just bought a new one because my other one was so nasty. Um, but oh my god, I forgot how amazing this foundation is. It's such a nice finish. I'm just going to buff that into the skin. So you want to make sure when you're applying your foundation that you're not ruining the outer part of your eyeshadow. So you just want to make sure you're swiping up like and out. We're gonna clean that up a little bit more with our concealer. And I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Then I'm going to take my damp, this is my Morphe sponge, and I'm just going to blend that all out. I'm gonna set my face with the RCMA No Color Powder. Just gonna set my under eye with my Beauty Blender. And my chin, because it's super oily. And then I'm just gonna take um, the little bit left that I have in my cap and use my Morphe E41. I'm just gonna dust that on the rest of my face to set it. So for bronzer, I am using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and my Morphe R2.
For blush, I am using NARS in Ghoul and Morphe E4. This is a really pretty, like, purpley mauve shade. I love it. It has a little shimmer in it. It's going to go really good with the eye. Bring that up onto the temple and onto the apples of the cheeks. Make sure you smile when you apply it. For the under eye, I'm going back to my Morphe E17, and I'm going to be mixing these two shades together, this one and this one. And I'm basically just connecting the two lines right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna grab my Morphe M213. He's a little guy. And I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner right here. Okay, and I recently discovered this Morphe highlighter pencil. It's called Oh Brow Baby. And I'm just gonna use that to highlight my brow bone and just clean up my brows a little bit. It's super subtle and it's not shimmery, which I kind of like. And then I use my finger to blend it. Okay, now for eyeliner. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Gel Brown Liner. I'm going in with any angled brush. This brush actually came with the liner. I'm just gonna lightly line that. Focusing on the outer corner. And I'm gonna do a little down here. Just, again, outer corner. Honestly, you guys, I wouldn't recommend this eyeliner. It looks really nice when you put it on initially, but it's not long wearing and it kind of like balls up and falls down my face. So I don't recommend it. It's just all I have right now and it looks good when you first apply it. It just doesn't last, so I don't really recommend it. For mascara, I am using my L'Oreal Telescopic. What else is new? It's trashed. Absolutely trashed. I need a new one. Okay, so two of my favorite lipsticks for fall are these Maybelline 950 and 940. Untainted Spice and Touchable Taupe. They are beautiful, beautiful fall shades. I am going to be using Touchable Taupe 940. I just like to dab it out and kind of like rub it into my lips so that it doesn't look like too creamy. I kind of just want it to look like, like a stain. Okay, so I just put a clear gloss over that lip. Um, this is a gloss that I use all the time just to go over most of my lipsticks. It's 151 Baby and it's L'Oreal Color Riche. Yeah, so this is the final look, you guys. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And thank you for watching. Comment below on what video you'd like to see next. Thank you to everyone who voted in my Twitter poll for what they wanted to see me film today. I've been getting requests for drugstore tutorials or like a drugstore haul. If you guys do want to see more drugstore videos, comment below and let me know. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye. Baba. I'm blonde again. Baba. Wow, my hair looks great. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Bye now.